Welcome to the webbikeworld.com video tour of the new Cena SMH10 motorcycle Bluetooth intercom system. Please visit webbikeworld.com for the full review and detailed photos of this product and many more. Cena Technologies may not be a familiar name to motorcyclists, but the company is well known in the industrial communications sector, specializing in Bluetooth and wireless systems for machine to machine communications, industrial automation, telecom services, and healthcare. They have used all that expertise in developing the SMH10, which has some very unique features for a motorcycle intercom system, and so far has proven to be one of the easiest to use intercoms we've tried. One of the coolest features of the Cena SMH10 is that it only has a single button and a big wheel, called a jog dial, to control all the features. The button on the rear of the unit controls the paired cell phone features, while the jog dial controls the intercom functions and the MP3 player if it uses the AVRCP profile. To turn on the SMH10, press and hold the button and the jog dial and the unit starts up within 2 seconds. Turning it off is a cinch. Just press the button and the jog dial simultaneously and boom, it's off. None of this holding and waiting routine. This is a nice feature that we really like. The module is securely held onto the headset unit with a snap lock and a tab in the bottom. Here's a close-up of the microphone, which is slightly oval-shaped, and it has a small triangle in the back to indicate which side goes towards the mouth. The speakers are larger than normal, and they have heavier magnets, so the sound quality and volume is excellent. The battery charger port is located on the module under a water-resistant cover, and the port for the 3.5mm jack is on the headset, the accessories that come with the Cena SMH10 include the USB charging cable, a stick-on helmet mount that can be used if desired, a nice coiled 3.5mm jack cable to connect any wired devices if you'd like, and a package with an extra windsock for the mic and hook and loop pads for installing the speakers. The wall charger for home use is interesting. It's a module that has a snap-on adapter for different outlet types in different countries. It also comes with a nice cigarette lighter power adapter for recharging on the bike. To place the units into pairing mode, simply turn them on first and then press and hold the rear button. The latest generation of Bluetooth intercoms are way, way easier to use than the first generation types, so much so that there is no news at all showing you how they can pair with different devices like the cell phone shown here. Bluetooth intercoms of only a couple of years ago had huge problems in pairing with anything, even each other, and it was impossible to remember the sequence of buttons and beeps needed to get them to do anything. As an example, here the Cena SMH10 easily pairs with our trusty Sony Bluetooth adapter that so far has not failed us. And of course you can read the review of this unit on webbikeworld.com also. After the Bluetooth adapter is paired, rotate the jog dial to turn the volume up and down, which is more intuitive than using buttons. Pairing two Cena units is also very easy. Put them in pairing mode and they pair very quickly and smoothly. The same procedure is used to pair up to four SMH10 intercoms together. The SMH10 also features a Vox mode that can be turned on and off and works very nicely. Just press and hold the jog dial until the red light comes on and you're in Vox mode, which turns the intercoms on automatically when you start to speak and turns them off if there's no sound for 20 seconds. So that's a quick look at the new Cena SMH10 motorcycle Bluetooth intercom system. Be sure to visit webbikeworld.com for the full review, all the details, more photos, and an upcoming long distance ride report featuring the SMH10 intercoms. Thanks for watching.